welcome back to my channel. Today's repaint is kind of bittersweet, so all of my earlier repaints are completely ruined because I was using a gloss on my dolls that was beautifully shiny for the eyes and the lips, like gorgeous. It just made the colors pop. Um, but it's completely like sunk down their face and it's brought some of the paint with them. It's smeared it. They look sweaty, it's sticky, it's gross, and it's unfortunate. This was, I think, my fourth repaint. It was before I started giving them new hair and new clothes and stuff. And it was actually the doll that led me into my kind of obsession with repainting Ever After High dolls. This was my first Ever After High repaint. Um, and I loved her. Like, she was my favorite for so long. And it actually makes me really sad to take off her face. But look how sticky she is. She's so gross. <laughs> As unfortunate as this is, I think it'll be a cool exercise to see how I've grown with repainting because I feel like I have. So let's give her a new face. By now you guys probably know the drill with doll prepping, but I cut all her hair off, put her head in hot water for like a minute or two, pop her head off, and then get all the plugs out with a screwdriver by like scraping it on the inside of her head, and then pull all the plugs out of the neck hole with needle nose pliers. These were all the glue chunks that were in her head. I find it kind of oddly very satisfying to look at. But after that, we take some acetone nail polish remover and scrape all of my work off of her face. <laughs> By the way, in case you guys were wondering, this doll is a Mira Shards doll. She's Raven Queen's mom in Ever After High, and I love her face sculpt. It's really cute. But um, yeah, it got a little bit stained from the previous face up, but that's really no big deal. We can just cover that up with a new face up. Since I'm going to be rerouting this doll, I painted her scalp a light blue color. You do this so that if there's any like bald spots or thinness with your reroute, it just makes it so you can't really see that. The hair I'm going to be using is Aquarius from the Doll Planet, and I cut the hank in half because ain't nobody need hair down to their feet, and also I'm cheap and I want to be able to do two reroutes with this hank, so. That's what we're doing, we're cutting it in half. If you're cheap like me, you can do that too. But I took a tiny little bit of hair, like the tiniest little bit, and I used this like clay tool to separate the hair. It just makes it a little bit easier for me. I wrap it around my finger, take my root root tool, which is an exacto blade handle with a needle on the inside that I cut like the head of the needle off of, or the part that you put thread through, I cut the top of that off of. And then I plunge the hair into the head. I do the um, hairline first and then everywhere else on the head and then the part. To make sure that hair isn't going anywhere, I take Fabri-Tac glue and I squeeze it into the neck hole. To make it so the hair lays flat after the glue has completely dried, I pour boiling hot water onto the head. I do this prior to the face up because, my god, like the anxiety it would cause if I did this after, I just could not imagine. Now on to our new face. So I spray my doll three times in Mr. Super Clear, waiting 15 minutes between each spray. And all the products that I use on this face up will be listed in the description box. The first place I usually start with on a doll is the eyes. I like to jump back and forth between them to make sure that they're about as even as I can possibly get them. When I want a doll's eye color to appear like extra light or bright, I always fill in the whites of the eyes. That's actually what I've been doing a lot lately because I just feel like it makes the iris color appear just way more vibrant. I've mentioned this before, I think quite a few times actually, it's probably repetitive, but I like to shade in the face with your typical like 
pinks and browns but also purples and blues as well because your skin has like multiple layers to it so those shades are also in your skin they're just not quite as I guess noticeable as like the pinks and the browns and the mauves and stuff I decided to do her eye color from like a dark blue to a lavender because I realized I don't have any purple eyed dolls and that just seemed unfortunate. For the eyebrows, I'm going in with a dark green. If you guys are ever confused about what color to use on the eyebrows it's kind of a good rule of thumb to like if you have a lighter colored hair doll to go in with a darker color for the eyebrows so, like I'm going in with dark green if you have a darker colored hair doll then go in with a slightly lighter color or just do whatever you feel like because I just did a doll like I just did a face up where the doll has white hair and black eyebrows so I guess I didn't really follow my own advice but anyway <laughs> Taking a light blue watercolor pencil, I'm adding veins around the forehead, temples, uh, brow bone, and underneath the eyes. I've been really liking putting down black for the pupils, spraying a layer of MSC, and then layering a colored pigment on top. I usually apply the pupil color with a Q-tip. This achieves a more blended pupil look as opposed to a harsh circle. Normally with my dolls I give them very thick lashes and there's kind of like multiple layers to them so they have some lashes pointing up and some lashes pointing down but I opted to give this doll less top lashes because I wanted her to have more of a wide eyed eye look and I wanted to try out a different type of eye shine on this doll. She's also getting some freckles with a dark brown watercolor pencil. I've seen a lot of people do freckles where they like flick it onto the doll with wet paint or whatever and I just cannot it just gives me too much anxiety I need to like start experimenting where I'm trying though small steps wetting my watercolor pencil I'm going in with white and doing the eye shines I opt I don't know what like this style is called but I've been trying to experiment with my eye shines lately and this is probably my favorite like effect that I've gotten with them. I really like how they turned out. At the beginning of this video, I mentioned to you guys that I wanted to sort of see with this doll how I've grown with doll repainting. And I feel like in an area that I've grown in is I've, I feel way more confident with paint on these doll faces. Prior or like with my earlier dolls, I just did them like most of it, like 95% of it with watercolor pencil and pastels. But now I feel just way more confident to go in with paint. Like for the eyebrows, like I used to be so scared to go in with paint for the eyebrows or anything, anything with paint. Um, but now I just feel way more confident with it.
As a last step, I take Vallejo Gloss Varnish and I put that on the lips. I also put it on the eyes, but I hold off on that until after I'm done taking photographs because it's really, really like the glare from the gloss on the eyes is really hard to photograph and it basically makes it so that you can't see all the details that you just painted. For her dress, I modified an Ever After High Blondie Locks dress pattern, like I took it apart. This was probably completely unnecessary though to get the pattern from this dress because I think I have like three dress patterns in my pattern collection that are similar to this, but I gave her more of like a sweetheart neckline. I heated up the vinyl on her head and put her head back on her body. My favorite step. I want to give her a little choker, so I took a piece of ribbon, sewed some clasps onto it, and then took some Fabri-Tac glue and glued a little star gem onto the middle. I wanted to do a little bit of experimenting with the hair because normally I am pretty lazy with it because I'm lazy with my own hair. I just don't have any patience for hair. Tons of patience for makeup, no patience for hair. Since this is nylon doll hair, we're gonna do the hot to cold method. So I am just taking your hair and braiding it into several braids. Once it was done braiding up her head, I took her hair and I put it from hot water to cold water, just back and forth, and this gave me terrible anxiety because I was so worried about the face up, but it ended up being fine. dry for about a day and then I unraveled her braids and eh. <sighs> it's just not quite as wavy as I wanted it to be but in retrospect I probably should have given her like more braids smaller braids because she's a small doll um, but you know it's all right it's whatever it still looks okay I think for the hair accessories I took these thumbtack thing decorative tack things and I took these blue ribbons and I super glued the blue ribbons to thumbtacks Take your little hair ribbons, I just shove them into her head. It always makes me cringe, this part. It just looks so painful if she were a person. <laughs> These are all her accessories and her clothes. I ended up giving her a pair of Blondie Locks tights and the shoes are from like a shoe doll lot that I got off eBay. Here she is, I love her. I love painting Ever After High dolls. I find that I'm like the happiest kind of with my Ever After High doll routines. I don't know if they're my, like if I like them more than Monster High but I always just adore how they come out. I'm really happy that I decided to give her a new face. It sucks because I feel like I should give all of my Ruin dolls new faces, but that is just so much work. I don't know, whatever. I'll probably end up doing it, but I love this specific doll, like Mira Shards. I love her face sculpt, so it was just a pleasure giving her a new face up. And I'm gonna put a side-by-side -side of um, the first face up that I gave her and then the this one and I just feel like there's progression there. Oh by the way I figure I should probably mention this I'm going to be doing a doll for Delightful's Tropical 
doll collaboration and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It's coming out pretty cool and I'm actually trying to do things like body modification things and it's very uncomfortable for me so. <laughs> I also added a couple of photos of this doll with my last ever after high doll repaint and I just love them together. I really do. But anyway guys, like this video if you like this video. Subscribe it makes me happy. If you guys have any comments or whatever, leave those down below. Um, and I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Bye!